I'm not a vampire, not an alien. I'm not the fucking mummy. I'm a goblin. Greetings and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. After two weeks and a little bit, I am back. The twisted goblin he is back. Oh no, how can it be? Where did you been? I am having a whole fucking new PC built. And my whole a new PC. Right for me, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, it looks wonderful, and you even see a little bit here the colors of this. Uh, I made it all go smoothly, all look uh, great, except my keyboard is in a, uh, you know, my country's version of a keyboard. So it's not the English version, the English version we need for really gaming. Now I have to always go to install and a little bit. But that's for another time. Another review, another time. Best one. I am gonna. I was like, what is the first thing I wanna try on this PC? And I found Dragon Ball Super Superhero. A good one. The art style, it's wonderful. It's very wonderful. Uh, the wonderful art style, I love it. So, so there is this uh, wonderful art style uh, of this thing. I think Dragon Ball Super uh, uh, Broly is still way better with the art style, with the colors. Everything pops so more out. The the story in that way better. But Dragon Ball Super Superheroes has some good things too. It is the skit, the grand uh, grandson. We even get an explainer. Uh, how he's connected to Dr. Jiro, it's like the grandson, and what's fun? Oh, it's so fucking fun, uh, is that we see uh, Dr. Jiro's uh, love love life or something, uh, is this uh, Android 21, like she, she is actually a thing, she is a uh, exist in the, the Dragon Ball universe, because we thought, like, a lot of us thought, like, she's only in a, she, uh, she's just in the game, like, fighters, like, really cool, really cool to play on my PC also in this new one, but, like, we thought that, but here it's confirmed, she exists, she does exist, she is uh, from the Red Ribbon R, and she, maybe in the future, you know, maybe somewhere in the future, because this got teased, she is gonna be in Tay, uh, but, uh, you know, so uh, we also see uh, Pan being trained by Piccolo, and Pan is a little bit of the opposite of uh, Gohan, as she she wants to train. She wants she's like very much wa wants to train, wants to be better. She wants to be stronger and uh, uh, like try to fly. Like she's very eager to to become a. While Gohan, Gohan is very eager to not do that. And it's like, I ah, know what, my dad and Vegeta is always here. So, the uh, uh, it's whole whole plot of uh, see, uh, uh, making Gohan realize that, uh, you know, uh, you know he, they're not always going to be there. I mean, it's Vegeta and, uh, and, uh, uh, and Goku. Those two are very powerful and are always there somehow, but they're not, they cannot be always there. There is no way there can be possible. Uh, yeah, sure. You sometimes you have to fight some minions, and uh, but the main t t there is gonna be a day when the main uh, uh, characters are not gonna be there. Uh, so yes. So but instead of you know uh, the plot being actually like okay, Gohan, uh, Gohan is gonna be uh, 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 Pan is gonna be kidnapped, and uh, Go uh, Gohan is gonna go there. That all seems like okay. That's very hard. But there is also the uh, the grandson uh, of Doctor Jiro. Uh, he's like, you know what? I want to save her. I wanna save her. I uh, like uh, I wanna save save the world. Like not Pan, not that. Uh, he wants to save the world. He's convinced by the Red Ribbon Army that Piccolo is an alien because he is King Piccolo. He was the evil, so now he's good because you know Goku makes every villain almost go evil. Android 18, 17, also there. Uh, uh, the Red Ribbon Army kind of convinces uh, Doctor Hill because she he doesn't care about much for his grandfather. Uh, uh, he doesn't uh, like because he's well ingenious. He is a uh, but he's also a child. He's still, well, he's 24, so he's a bit older. 
Uh, I wish he wasn't a child, it would make more sense. But either way, he's like, he's a genius. He is not good with, uh, uh, on, you know, way, knowing about people, when people lie or something. But also, here is money! He is very good in knowing everybody, what Red Ribbon Army already had uh, uh, know that somebody was following him. Uh, but he also wants the money. He wants to create his own androids. And he doesn't have the fund for it, because before this, he had some... Uh, Zombie android, uh, but there are very tight. He cannot create the very superheroes that he falls in love with from a, t a TV show that he loves. It's like he wants to create those superheroes. And the Red Fury of Marvel is like, well, we're kind of evil, you know, we want to control the world, but we're not that evil. We still want, uh, we want uh, the good for the world. We want, yes, yeah, a little bit of control, but we want the best for the world. And uh, you know, Boma is whole, the richest corporation in the world. Those have uh, done some bad things. Those uh, should, you know, those people should uh, sh uh, should uh, do something. And all that makes sense, you know. Uh, that uh, he thinks uh, they're evil because, you know, they have some villains and there are some aliens. Goku is an alien. Like, it makes sense to, like, to convince him that they're evil. But that doesn't make a Retrodomari an angel. And so he, he develops the, then uh, the Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Really cool characters. Love the characters. Uh, better than I expected to be. They're, la they're literally of Dr. Jero uh, Jero's uh, grandson. Like you see that's like okay this this makes sense. Uh, that they uh, want to be superheroes. And they wanna, but they're also like oh. They maybe can expect so something that they are the evil guys, the Red Trinity, but also it's like, you know, we got created by somebody that really wants to be a hero, that really wants to, uh, to do good, and it's like, so, I, and also, King Piccolo was a fucking evil guy, so it makes sense that there's like, they're a little bit in between, it's like, who's more evil, uh, it's more the question, and eventually, they test out, Piccolo gets attacked, uh, Piccolo then tries to find out what, who that Gamma on him because he loses fucking everything. He goes inside, tries to find out. He's very good in that undercover thing. He did it well, and they. But it's like when it goes bad, like really, I'm like oh, the first time, like okay, they gonna thing and Piccolo is gonna be catch. Then uh, then they're gonna get uh, Gohan or, or, or something involved because Pan gets kidnapped as well. It's like they start kidnapping. No 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 no. Not just any kid. Yes, it's their idea to kidnap Pan. And uh, Piccolo finds also a way to get uh, get a power up by unlock my potential. Like literally, he asked the dragon to unlock his potential. Uh, and then I was like, couldn't we not uh, do something better than that? But no, we unlock his potential. It just the Dragon Balls always gets used for the stupidest most thing because the other two Dragon Balls goes. For Bulma's facelift, are uh, uh, her some wrinkles off? Like really, and then they forget to wish about Vegeta and Goa. But this is like they make the joke about it, and I'm like, yeah, I get it. the joke. I get it uh, that uh, they forgot about that. But the so stupid wishes. Like this is what you get when you have the richest woman in the world. Like you're rich, you can buy uh, lots of things, uh, but things that uh, Goma. Is it she's like, oh, kind of like, like, okay, that's a weird thing to ask, but okay. it's also, I think it's also Bulma's own insecurities of, you know, being the, uh, the wife of, uh, of a Saiyan, and a Saiyan is, stays very young for a long time, so she tries to not go all the way young, but also stay a little bit young. Maybe she wants to go, stay like this, a little bit the same thing uh, as Vegeta's, so like, okay. I want to look as old as Vegeta. I want to make that make some more sense, like on her point of view of why she does that. But whatever. So after the puncher, you would think it's like okay, now Piccolo is gonna uh, try to uh, attack them uh, alone and go fucking for it. It's like he's gonna do it alone. Gohan is not strong enough. There are others are not strong enough. Like uh, and Boo is in his sleeping. Uh, he it goes all the ways off and Vegeta. Broly and Goku, all those three are training on Wii's planet. Also, uh, 
uh, Beerus planet. Uh, also, Beerus starts to get a crush on uh, on the girl uh, that Broly uh, Broly always all, all already liked, and it's like I feel like maybe we're gonna have a fight with Broly and Beerus on some point for that girl. It seems weird that uh, that Beerus falls in love, but also like. He never fall in love at all. It's like maybe a little bit of doing this. It's like this little crush on uh, uh, on her. What's weird, but also it could make a potential. Also, Broly seems to lose it a lot. Like he is stronger than Bro uh, Vegeta and Goku. But uh, the thing why he is not training as uh, he tries to train to control his uh, his berserk form. But he has a harder time than. Uh, uh, because he's much more powerful, so it's like, whoa, 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 shit, shit. It's like, okay, calm down, calm down. We don't want you to, uh, it's like we have a hard time, and so you don't see them train, but he watches and see Broly. It's like, it's fun to see that. I love that we still see Broly, see train, uh, and see Broly, even though it's like a cameo and it's not there, but also there is a good reason why he's not a fucking one that's, that's been training the, uh, as much. Because he's uh, he is stronger than a Goku and Vegeta, but he cannot keep control over his power. So that's going on on Beerus' planet. So that's also uh, Bulma cannot find uh, the thing, and they don't answer it so, because gods are like, yeah, you know what. Uh, so now we got Piccolo that has now doing a need to do it alone. He tries to find more information, then finds out they're gonna kidnap Pan. He's like, I'm gonna go. I'm like, and then he finds this stupid idea. To get a three-year-old in the middle of this all, so like yeah, the three-year-old is out, and then finds oh, I can sense key, I can sense uh, pickle. Uh, we also find out that Gohan cannot sense it at all, but uh, Pan can sense that it's Piccolo. So Piccolo is like very much like okay, he is like uh, he's he's it saves Pan, but then only to get Pan in danger, like really very much in danger. It's like you know what. We're gonna give a parent a heart attack. That's the way to do it. Give a parent a heart attack. It's like literally, uh, literally. This is like a joke you go on to prison with if you do this to any of your family members. But uh, Piccolo is like, you know what? I'm gonna kidnap you, but we're gonna make Gohan, you know, lose it. Make Gohan's potential come out of luck again that he can't uh, uh, do. It. So that's uh, Piccolo's whole plan. Instead of actually being kidnapped it's not really kidnapped because piccolo is there it's just uh i thought so, like everybody makes that joke that piccolo is a better father than goku uh goku but he is a very very bad grand a uh, grand uh uh father to uh to pan because who the fuck gets you know what i'm gonna get you to danger also uh, to unlock uh, gohan's potential so i'm gonna give you his parents a heart attack so he becomes uh, uh, for, uh his potential that's his whole fucking ID. Uh, he goes to the thing, Gohan uh, finds out about it, you know, by Piccolo. He's like, I we better hope that she is alright. He goes with it. Uh, then uh, he fights Gamma, uh, Gamma 2, uh, no, Gamma 1. And the fight is first, like, a little bit more. Then he starts to be Super Saiyan. He starts to get stronger, but he's not that strong enough. So Piccolo is like, you know what? Trying to have uh, give par uh, your parents another heart attack. That's not gonna work. So another heart attack by Pan screaming and uh, um, Piccolo doing like, oh, I'm gonna kill her. Kind of Makes Gohan, of course, lose it. And Pan, he uh, loses it again, becoming uh, uh, more stronger. His ultimate for uh, he got, gets a little bit of upper hand, but then there is also like. Then pick. Uh, then it's like, oh, who's gonna win? The Red Ribbon Army is like, we want Cell Max. Who's the fuck is Cell Max? You ask. Well, Cell Max is a uh, just some uh, the project of Doctor Jero was Cell, and his grandson is smarter, so he created a bigger Cell, but not for for his reason. Just because he wanted the money, he wanted the Gamma One and Gamma Two. That was it. He wants a whole world with superheroes. Uh, Cell Max was just you know to keep the Red Ribbon Army. Uh, happy, so he ke keeps getting money. He didn't want that, but he did. It's like okay, there is a chance that this gonna do. So he has a weakness, a big weakness. But Cell Max is like very big, like a giant, a giant big. But and that's cool. But what is not cool is like, or seriously, you could have 
than any giant. Any fucking giant, a new freaking giant, everything would still make sense. It would uh, like, you could have, uh, uh, have even uh, Android 21 as being like, okay, this is a project to make this stronger Android than any before with the boo, uh, uh, say, you could have done that, but no. That would make more sense if you have her and then the girl, uh, like the whole in the whole movie, a little more about her. But no, 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 we don't get that. We don't get that. We get uh, we, uh, get uh, Cell, Cell Max, who is just a fucking rage monster uh, of an android that's like could be out of control. And first there was Gamma One and Gamma Two that fight Piccolo and Gohan. Piccolo eventually. Eventually unlocks his uh, a little boost and has a new form, Orange Piccolo, because on Dragon Ball Super they're not original anymore with the names. It's literally like ah, color it. It's like we could have, we can call it Piccolo, the Devil Piccolo. We could have guys like no, just call it Orange Piccolo. It's like what? Seriously? We're gonna just do stupid names now. All right, color names. Yeah. Good re Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan, like why does it all have to be color or named? That's a bit racist, you're not gonna call black man, it's like black, uh, Jerry, black, uh, what the fuck is going on with all these names in this uh, in this anime? Anyway, so, it, uh, Piccolo unlocks his, tries to fight it, they then after a little bit more fight, they stop fighting because they know who the fucking real villain is now, and Gamma 1 tries to stop uh, one of them, but you know, the Red Freedom Army leader kind of uh, finds his way somewhere else. And then it's where uh, Dr. Harrow, you know, the grandson, uh, finds like wha what uh, the other one is up to. He wants to release Cell Max. Like, no, you cannot fucking release Cell Max, but I'm smart. So I have the thing. So long there is something still human about you, I can ki uh, kill you. So he starts killing, he, he starts dying, but in the stead of dying, he uh, able to destroy destroy the uh, the consoles of or, or Cell Max releasing him and now the, the sea fighters that are on the earth has to uh, fight Cell Max with Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 they try to fight it, they keep on going and going and going and uh, of course this doesn't go well it's like even uh, 18 starts to go uh, with him even, uh, uh, even Krillin like you see all the Z fighters trying to stop this monster Let's just have like, hey, you know what? You know, Broly was a good thing. Maybe you should have Cell again. It's like, but it's not the same Cell as we used to. So it's on a whole redesign, recreation of Cell. And besides that, that this Gohan's only fucking big villain that he ever had to uh, do on his own. So now with Cell Max, that's a giant version of uh, Cell second form. And yes, everybody's like, oh, if he was in the ultimate form, it's a perfect form. He would be much more stronger than anybody, uh, than uh, uh, than Vegeta and uh, but whatever so they try to fight him turn the gamma one of the gammas tries to go from space and tries to uh, do a meteor uh, uh, version of his powers with all his energy he still has left bang the, uh, trying to destroy it but his arm just came out so normally the head is in weak point so they're trying to get to that doesn't work uh, it doesn't wor work and uh, well he has one hand anymore so they still try to fight Piccolo even becomes giant tries to make his orange form he tries to get get it doesn't work at all it's like yes he tries yes uh, yeah he got, got a big fight for it but uh, uh, it was only after you know he was defeated Gohan unleashed again it's like I'm very much like huh okay Gohan gets angry because uh, what where was he the 500 hundred times uh, somebody dies uh, and also it's like Piccolo is not even dead he's not even unconscious he's uh, he's just there and then he get, uh, gets the, uh, when he transforms Go, uh, Gohan seems to have the upper hand seems to be uh, going to be cocky again but then it's, uh, uh, they fight and gets and uh, uh, and Piccolo tries to get uh, get like this thing from the Saiyan saga where uh, Goku tries to keep him in place, now it's uh, Piccolo tries to keep him in place and Gohan uh, does Masinko uh, a beam, uh, it's like this whole beam and destroys his head 
and uh, defeats uh, defeats uh, Cell Max. Of course, he explodes. Everybody's safe. Uh, one of the Gammas does die. The other Gamma stays alive, and they join uh, Capsule Corp. Because you know why not? Uh, he has like four facelifts and stuff. He's like, I I can do that. I have an HP. Uh, that's like ever uh, seriously keeping him somewhere down. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I like it on some points. I think the plot in general was uh, Gamma One and Gamma Two are fucking fun. Uh, super uh, Cell Max is stupid. I mean, he has cool form and it's kind of cool looking, but besides that, eh, it's not, he doesn't speak, he just screams a lot. Uh, uh, while Broly does that too, he has a whole story. You see him a little bit childish, you see how, how he is. Broly has this whole uh, magical version of him, while Cell Max seems like just a screaming, angry, uh, out of control android. Not a former version of what Cell was, but this version of Cell, uh, Cell doesn't want perfection, doesn't want to. He, do, he, he is just very much out of control and has a weakness that they try to get. He is strong and it's cool to see him like this big giant form, but it's still like, besides being a giant fucking form, he's nothing. He's literally... Just a, a fucking big villain that you fight at the end of the game in Dark Souls. No idea what, what his story is, no idea what it is, besides that he came out of fucking pot. And, and he is based on the former uh, cell. It's not the same cell, it's just a fucking rage monster. You could have done any new character uh, of that. But we had Cell Max. So not bad, not good. I give the I give the uh, Dragon Ball so like the Piccolo thing was its most stupid thing. I feel like like Piccolo literally getting pan in danger, giving a parent a fucking heart attack uh, for for uh, key, uh, getting pan in danger. Sure, he was not ever in danger, but for the parent, he was in danger. It's like why would you do this to a parent? Literally, like oh oh, pan is in danger. Pan is gonna go. Uh, make it, yes, the three year olds is gonna believe you, yes, they trust you, but this is abuse of a child. You're abusing a child! For God's sakes, man! Besides that, you know, great movie. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I'm never gonna say this is 10. I feel like the Broly movie was beautiful, done. The plot was very much cool uh, and makes sense. Uh, while Dragon Ball superhero, while some things make sense, not everything, the, and making uh, the way to go on uh, at this new form felt like a little bit like seriously you could have literally kidnapped pen you could have literally let the kidnap pen and uh, gamma one and gamma two not be sure uh sure about what why they do it so uh, like, they're following orders not or not knowing uh anymore a bit confused about themselves so uh, there was so much that i felt like could have done better in this uh, movie but the art style was Pretty cool. I love the art style. Sure, the Broly movie much better uh, art style for uh, my taste. This, but this one was also fun to see. I was I didn't think it was bad. Also, next to my new PC build, it maybe pops more out. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad I could finally watch Dragon Ball Super uh, superheroes, and I hope to see you all of you in my next videos. Bye bye. Then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.